One of the most common styles of questions in trigonometry is this sort of 3D question where you have a person, um, some trees, some little trees which I'm drawing here, and also one very big tree which I'm going to draw here. Now the common type of question is to ask you how high the top of the big tree is. So usually you'll get some information in the question. Um, you might get a distance to the row of trees. Um, in this case it's 70 meters. Um, you might also get some more information about what angle away from straight in front of you the big tree is. So in this case it's 37 degrees. So the triangle I just drew is a triangle along the ground and it's also got a right angle um, where I drew one there. Now you can always draw another triangle in sort of situation like this which is in the vertical plane. So this is one in air. So one side of the triangle is the height of the large tree uh, one side is along the ground, and one side's in the middle of the air. And you've got an angle of elevation. In this case, the angle is 13 degrees. It's also got a right angle. Um, and I should also name the person, just so who know, we know who we're talking about. So he's called Bob. Um, it's always a good idea to label the corners of your triangle. So we've got two triangles, um, they share two corners, so we're going to need four letters. So I've used A, B, C, and D. Now, what we're interested in is finding the height of the tree, so we really need to write some statement. Um, the tree height, if you look at the labels, is the length C, D. So I've written that down, that's what we want to try and find out. So what we can do is draw the triangle which has CD as one of its sides. Uh, so what I'm doing here is drawing the triangle which is the triangle in the original diagram in the vertical plane. Uh, so one corner is A, one corner is C, and one corner is D. And we're trying to find length CD. So we don't know what it is yet. I put a question mark there. Uh, we do know the angle of elevation is 13 degrees. Uh, we don't know the length of side AD yet, and we don't know the length of side AC. So we don't have enough information to find out the height of CD yet. What we can do is we can try and find out what length AC is, because once we've got that we'll be able to find length CD. So we can draw the other triangle from our original diagram, which is the triangle along the ground, which is what I'm doing here. One corner is A, one corner is B, and the other corner is C. So we're going to try and find length AC, and I must remember to put in the right angles in both of these triangles. So the angle in this triangle, ABC, is 37 degrees, uh, but we also know a side length. We know that the bottom side is 70 meters long. So the angle and the length is enough for us to be able to work out the length AC. So that's what we want to find out. Length AC. So the 70 meter side, relative to the 37 degree angle, it's the adjacent side. The hypotenuse side is the side we're trying to find out, side AC. So we know an angle and we know the adjacent side and we want to find out the hypotenuse side. So what we can do is we can use our little saying, Sokka Toa. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan is opposite over adjacent, so katoa. Now we've got the adjacent and the hypotenuse, so what we need to use is cos.
So if we can write an expression using cos. So cos of 37 degrees, or cos of any angle in fact, is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Now, our adjacent side is 70 metres. The hypotenuse is our length AC that we're trying to find out. So instead of writing adjacent and hypotenuse, we can put these values in. So equals the adjacent, which is 70 metres, and the hypotenuse is the length AC, which we're trying to find out. So if we rearrange this, what we really want to find out is AC. So if we put AC on the left hand side, we get AC equals 70 metres times, whoops, no, that's a mistake. Should it be times? Because 37 moves over to the other side, it should be being divided by. So that's a mistake, so you've got to keep alert. So I'm going to rub this all out and do it correctly. So AC is going to equal 70 meters divided by cos 37 degrees. Now we could work out what AC is numerically or we can just leave it as that expression. Um, so now we know AC in this diagram we need to find out AD. So there's a tick, we know what AC is equal to. We have an expression to work it out. So we need to find out length AD now. So I can redraw the vertical triangle, which is triangle ACD. Now we've got the 13 degree angle of elevation and the bottom side, AC, we know the length is 70 on cos 37 degrees. So we want to find out side length AD. Nope, we want to find out side length CD, which is the opposite side relative to the 13 degrees. And the side AC is our adjacent side, and we know this side length. So we write out Sokatoa again. We have our adjacent and opposite side, so we want to use tan. So tan of 13 degrees, or tan of any angle, is always the opposite side, Toa, divided by the adjacent side. Now, our opposite side is the side we're trying to find out the length of, side CD. Our adjacent side is the side we know the length of, it's 70 on cos 37 degrees. So by not introducing numbers too early, we can keep it as accurate as possible. So if we move the 70 on cos 37 to the other side, we get 70 on cos 37 degrees times tan 13 degrees equals the side length they're trying to find out CD. So now we just plug numbers into our calculator and you should get that CD is 20.23 blah 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 meters. Now you can write out all the places, but it's generally a good idea to round it up. Uh, two decimal places is probably reasonable for this sort of question, so 20.24 metres. There's your answer.